In this video we will be assuming you have already watched the TMB basic tutorial also found on this YouTube channel. The main new topics introduced in this video are the multivariate normal distribution, transformations of parameters, matrix functions and type casting. We are going to assume that the multivariate normal distribution has this correlation structure known as compound symmetry. You can see that the correlation between all three variables is the same and it is denoted as rho. To build the covariance matrix we scale the correlation with the standard deviations. The first thing we do in the R code is to simulate data from this three-dimensional normal distribution. We start by setting the dimensions, then the number of observations, the mean vector, standard deviations, and finally the correlation. Then we fill in the covariance matrix with the standard deviations and correlation like we saw earlier. In the console we can see the contents of the sigma matrix. Yes. We use the MVR norm function from the mass package to simulate the data. Here we see the simulated data in a three column matrix X, also seen in the plot window. The positive correlation is evident in the scatter. Here we are preparing the data and parameters for the TMB model. On the C++ side, we catch the data matrix X and we extract its dimensions. Similarly, we declare the parameters. We are going to estimate a total of seven parameters. A vector of three means, one for each column of x, a vector of three standard deviations, and finally the correlation parameter. We need the standard deviations to be positive and the correlation to be between minus one and one. We can bound these parameters using transformations. We estimate the standard deviations on the log scale and for the correlation we use a shifted logistic transformation. Here we build the covariance matrix in the same way as we did in R. We fill in the matrix row by row using this operator. Now we are ready to see how the multivariate normal distribution works in TMB. The functionality is found in the namespace called density. This line is analogous to loading a package in R. We construct a special object which we will use to calculate the negative log density of the multivariate normal. The mean is always zero and we give it the covariance matrix sigma. Then we loop over the observations and calculate the negative log likelihood. For each row of x, we define a residual vector that has mean zero by subtracting mu from the x values. To make the row of x values compatible with the vector of mu, we typecast that row as a vector. Then we evaluate the multivariate normal density of the residuals. Note that a feature of the density namespace is that the special objects return the negative log density unlike the other density functions in TMB and R. We could have done this using a more compact notation, but it would run more slowly. It is nevertheless worth knowing the compact way. You should think of this as the negative log density, which is then evaluated at the residuals. In that case, you would not need this line or this line. Then we go back to the R code and do the estimation. Note that in the parameter list we are using the transform scale for the standard deviations and correlation. We compile and fit the model as described in the first introductory video. Here we see the estimated parameters and the corresponding standard errors. Now we can compare the true covariance matrix to the estimated covariance matrix. 
also shown are the values of the correlation parameter and the standard deviations on the natural scale. So the main new topics we learned in this video uh, were the multivariate normal distribution in TMB, transformations of parameters, matrix functions, and type casting.